Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add four digit numbers and ones, we can also call them units, four digit numbers and ones using the horizontal format. And when we're using the horizontal format we are effectively just counting. Okay, so let's begin with our first example. I'm going to write the question down first. Okay, it's a nice easy one. 1487 plus 2. Now if we look at the number 2, that is a unit. And if we look over here, 1487, the 7 is a unit. So we're adding the 7 with the 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. So the answer becomes 1489. Now in this example, the first three digits, 148, did not change. That's not always the case, just in this example. We we'll look at another one here where another digit will change. This time we've got 3500 and 28 plus 7. Okay, 3528 plus 7. Always notice a sign. We should say that every time. Okay, so we're going to add the 7, which is a unit, to the unit on this side. Okay, so, tw so it's 8 plus 7. Now we know that 8 plus 7 is, now you should know this by now, 8 plus 7, I'll write it down here, is 15. You know this from your mental arithmetic. Okay? So the 1 over here, which is, needs to be added to the 2 over here. Okay, so the answer becomes 3,535. 3,535. Now there is a slightly different way of doing this. Let me write the question down again. Let's just scroll, uh, we won't scroll down just yet. So we've got 3,528 plus 7. Now instead of adding the 7 to the 8, which is what we've done, because the answer is 10 or more, we know the answer is 10 or more, let's combine it with the digit on the left. Okay, because we know our mental arithmetic. So instead of on adding 7 to the 8, add the 7 to the whole number, 28. Now you probably think this is a longer way, but with a bit of practice, you'll get better at this, and you'll begin to answer these questions faster. 28 plus 7 is 35. Okay, and really, you should be able to do this in your head now. You don't need dots, the dot method, or fingers on your hands. So the answer for this one, and don't forget, the first two digits haven't changed. It becomes 3,500, and now we've got the 35. Okay, so there's a slightly different method to doing this. Let's scroll down, and we'll work on one more. This time, we've got 5,684 plus 9. Okay. Again, notice the sign. It's plus, and the 9 is a unit, and we're going to add them to the unit over here. So 4 plus 9. Now, we know that 4 plus 9 equals 10 or more. We know that. So instead of doing 4 plus 9, let's combine it with a digit on the left. So now we've got 84 plus 9. 84 plus 9. The answer is, I'll just write it down here, 84 plus 9, and again, you should know this by now, it is 93. The first two digits, again, did not change. 
So the answer is 5,600, and now we've got the 93 over here. Okay, so there are two slightly different methods, but effectively you are just counting the units with another unit if it equals 10 or more, then you can use the tens as well. Okay, so have a practice with a few numbers. And that is how we add four-digit numbers and ones using the horizontal format.